All right, just a short video on the phone to show what we've been working on with the boat. Modifications based on using it. One, we've got a proper size paddle that we've whipped onto the side. It does lose a logo or two, but luckily we have another one on the other side. And I didn't want to put anything into the boat that interferes. I ended up getting a kayak paddle because they've got good thrust off the sides. We'll test that out and find out how good it is. But I got a two-piece one so that you can use it to push off the sand as a long pole or split it and have two people each side just paddling it out into deeper water to protect that prop on the motor. And other things we've been thinking about from fishing is we've found it's best to always drift fish the chute from this side because I've been putting the petrol tank here. That means we can fish over the tank and sit on that side a bit. But while I've been having a great time fishing here, it's quite tricky in the waves and everything to be jigging over that rail. If you're at sitting height, you need to stand up and the swell's a bit rough. So what we're going to probably do tomorrow is chop this part of the rail off about here and put an end cap in, rerun the line, and that'll give us a nice open section. The other thing that solves is every time we're coming back, it's very hard to jump off the boat. So you're forced to get off the boat in very deep water if there's no docking platform and then walk up and it can be a meter deep and trying to step over this when that's already higher has been quite not safe and really not good so this will give us a nice exposed area to jump off the boat safely as well as having good fishing so we're going to move all these rod holders over like this one and we'll run three or four of them down there and what we found is if you put the rod holders backwards running vertical then everyone sitting there there's absolutely no issue with the rods blocking people they can move around the boat quite easily so that's what we're going to try next and we'll have to take this noodle off that was to protect the rods for the girls because when they hooked up a big fish it was going bang <laughs> so that's that rod protector <laughs> but this will be the back of the fishing pretty much most of the time and uh, it's looking good everything's been going well so we'll show you how that progresses tomorrow.